Hey everybody, Rob Maurer here, and today we have two exciting milestones that Tesla happens to be hitting both at the same time. This morning Tesla was flirting with the $1,000 share price in the pre-market. That has finally now crossed, which is of course a new all-time high for Tesla. According to Yahoo Finance, that puts Tesla's market cap at right around $185.5 billion, meaning Tesla has now surpassed Toyota Motors to become the most valuable automaker in the world. Toyota's market cap, also according to Yahoo Finance, at right around its $131 share price today, is $180 billion. So two huge milestones today. First of all, huge congratulations to the entire Tesla team, to Elon Musk. It's been a wild ride for Tesla throughout its history, and especially so over the last year. 12 months ago today, Tesla was trading under $215 per share. That means Tesla has more than 35 x in the last 12 months. Even this year, less than two months ago, in mid-March, Tesla was trading at about $350 per share, so we've almost tripled in the last two months. All right, so let's talk about what's even going on in pre-market today that is driving Tesla stock up by 6%. Reuters has published an article today with the headline of, quote, Tesla to start volume production of semi-trucks, colon, memo, end quote. They continue in the body of the article to say, quote, Tesla Inc.'s chief executive Elon Musk said that it is time to bring its semi-commercial truck to, quote-unquote, volume production as the U.S. electric vehicle maker ramps up vehicle production after a brief virus-related shutdown, end quote. Okay, so while a little bit light on the details, this report does seem to be what is driving the price spike in the pre-market. A few hours before this report by Reuters, there was a tweet from an account by the name of Doolittle Donnie on Twitter that appears to share the email from Elon Musk that Reuters has referenced here. Now, I think we need to be a little bit skeptical at this point until we have a little bit more reporting, but let's go ahead and read this supposedly leaked email anyway. So this is from Elon Musk, apparently to everybody, whatever that means, I assume all of Tesla which, if that's the case, we should hopefully get verification of that from other sources soon. And the email is timestamped at 9.24 p.m., I assume that's Pacific Time, last evening. This tweet then went out at 11.51 p.m. Pacific Time last night as well. So, this supposed email reads, quote, It's time to go all out and bring the Tesla Semi to volume production. It's been in limited production so far, which has allowed us to improve many aspects of the design. Production of the battery and powertrain would take place at Giga Nevada, with most of the other work probably occurring in other states. Jerome and I are very excited to work with you to bring this amazing product to market, Elon, end quote. Again, we'll just have to wait and see if this is further validated. It does seem a little bit weird that Elon would say that the battery and powertrain would be produced at Giga Nevada, and then continue on to say, quote, with most of the other work probably occurring in other states, end quote. But while that's a little bit odd, it doesn't necessarily invalidate that this could be from Elon Musk. The timing is certainly interesting and does make sense. We've been talking quite a bit about Nikola Motor this week. Earlier this week, they had their reverse merger public listing, and their valuation has skyrocketed from about $3.3 billion to over $30 billion. This is for a pre-revenue company whose internal projections are not to do $3 billion in revenue until 2024. I'm sure at minimum, this has caught Elon's attention this week, and I honestly wouldn't be surprised if this sort of annoyed him into accelerating their plans a little bit for the semi. Obviously, that's not going to be the only factor, but it might be a small little push in that direction. The last official communication that we had from Tesla on the semi was at the end of April in the Q1 shareholder letter in the product outlook section. They said, quote, lastly, we are shifting our first Tesla semi deliveries to 2021, end quote. Going back to this alleged email, this doesn't necessarily conflict with that guidance. No new timeline was shared, and we actually know that Tesla has said in the past that they intend to use the first produced Tesla semis in their own business. So even if it is time to ramp the Tesla Semi up to volume production, Tesla could still use those semis internally and then start customer deliveries next year. And as crazy as it is to say, we're only about six months away from 2021. The other news that we had in the pre-market today possibly boosting the stock was an upgrade from Wedbush analyst Dan Ives, who increased his base price target from $800 to $1,000 and his bull case price target from $1,350 all the way up to $1,500. Ives is particularly bullish on China, saying, quote, We believe that the China growth story is worth at least $300 per share to Tesla, as this EV penetration is set to ramp significantly over the next 12 to 18 months, end quote, and added that they are excited for the announcements that they expect Tesla to make at Battery Day. So with that, I'm going to get back to my vacation, but again, congratulations to Tesla, congratulations to Elon Musk, congratulations to all Tesla investors, and everyone interested in the company. This is a really exciting day for Tesla, and I believe for the world. So don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Tesla Podcast, and I'll see you again at some point, but until then, thank you.